All right, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, so in this video, I thought I'd talk about something a little bit different uh, that uh, might affect or be related to a couple of you. And I'm gonna address this towards the guys. I know I've got some women that watch my videos, but this is, you know, the principles apply both to both genders or all 100 genders, if you know what I mean. Um, but it mainly towards the guys, you know. The guys that were born guys that are guys, you know, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, so there are a couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, uh, don't don't be a crypto bro. And what I mean by this is uh, these are the guys, in my opinion, that when they make a lot of money from cryptocurrency or through Grayscale, like in our case, they want to take their wealth, use it to basically show off and show how wealthy they are, right? They want to flaunt it. And there's some real dangers in this. I want to talk about this and just urge you, like if you're thinking along these lines, uh, to just be wary of doing this. Also, this applies to using your newfound wealth or possessions to get the ladies, right? You want to get laid, you're horny as hell, um, you want to get the women, right? It's like, I'm going to talk about that. There's some major dangers here. So, um, all right, so first, like, there's a reason why really wealthy people practice what is called stealth wealth. It's that they don't want to be targeted for a number of different reasons. They don't want to be uh, the subject of somebody's envy and jealousy, potentially crime, like carjacking, theft, stuff like that. Um, but also you don't want to attract the wrong people in life. So for example, let's say you're a dude and you're like, all right, I made a ton of money in Grayscale or crypto. I'm going to buy just a sweet ass car, like a Lambo or a Bentley or something like you know, or a Bugatti or whatever, whatever, whatever. There's nothing wrong with that stuff, by the way, at all. Uh, if that's what your heart's been desiring, definitely go for it if you can. Um, I would not go into debt. If you can't afford it, don't buy that shit. It's not worth it. But if you can, cool. But here's the deal. Like when you drive around in like a Lambo or like a super high-end luxury vehicle, and you're in an area where that's not the norm, you're gonna stand out like a sore thumb. Now, you might want that. You might wanna, you know, attract the attention of other people, you know, to, to have them look at you in your vehicle or whatever and go, okay, this guy's got money, right? Well, here's the problem. Like, if you're thinking you're gonna use this to land the ladies, for example, understand this. Like, when you lead with money and say, here, check out what I have, in terms of dollars or, you know, my business or my assets or whatever, um, you, you're gonna be inclined to attract people into your life that like you because of your wealth. That sucks. They're not liking you because of you, because of who you are, your personality or any of that stuff, they like you because of your money. So what's probably gonna happen in this case is if you attract people like this into your life and you hang out with them, you spend time with them, you know, you give them time of day, they are going to, in one way or another, um, sap your wealth. They're gonna spend it. They're gonna want you to give them money, pay off their debt, do a whole bunch of stuff. You're gonna, you could go broke supporting their uh, desires, right? Also, what's gonna happen if for some reason you lose your money, you lose your wealth, like it goes down substantially? Well, if they just, if they just liked you, wanted you because of your wealth, um, that's really windy here. If they just liked you because of your wealth, well, chances are they're gonna leave you, right? The chances are they're gonna leave you, so be very wary of this. Um, don't do this, don't be an idiot with how you use your money and how you uh, show off your money. Just be careful about this, okay? I just wanna just state this. This should be obvious, but we all make mistakes. We all learn throughout life, right? And uh, you just don't wanna make big mistakes. Also, for you guys out there, uh, who are looking to get married, looking to hook up with somebody and eventually get married. Um, huge warning flag for you guys. Like, uh, I've been married before. I got raked over the coals and divorced because I had a business that was worth quite a bit. And uh, it, 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 it was scary shit. Like, <laughs> what they do in a divorce is this. Like, as a guy, you're fucked. Um, the divorce laws all, are all basically set up to err on the side of supporting women. So what they do in a divorce, at least in my state, it's probably most states like this. Damn, the wind is a lot here. Uh, what they do is they value all your assets, like for example, your crypto, your stocks, your businesses, your real estate, your vehicles, everything. And they say, okay, 50% of that value needs to be paid to your ex-wife pronto, you know, in a very short period of time. Usually that's what they push for. 
So even if you haven't sold your vehicles, your business, your crypto, your whatever, uh, your ex wants half of that pronto. I had to fight tooth and nail to actually get, uh, uh, you know, give me the ability to pay off my ex uh, over the course of a number of years. And I got busy as hell doing it because I had a conversation with the judge, the divorce judge, off the books after afterwards, after a session I had with him. And I said, judge, I'm worried about paying this off like millions of dollars. I said, what, you know, the business that I have is the only method I have of doing this. What is gonna happen if the business fails? And I can't actually pay off what I owe my ex. And he told me, he said, then you'll go to jail. Yep. You go to jail. Like if you can't pay off your ex, you go to jail. So it sucks. It's not set up for guys. So fuck that. <laughs> like I will never get married again unless two things are in place. One is a bulletproof prenup. Bulletproof prenup. And two is a postnup. One you sign before you get married. The other you sign after. Talk to a lawyer about this. I'm not legal advice. Not none of it. But here's the deal. Like some prenups can be can be thrown out by the court. <laughs> you need to provide a provision in a prenup that gives your ex something, some kind of financial co uh, compensation. Otherwise the court is probably likely gonna throw out your prenup and then it's like you never had one, then you're screwed, <laughs> then you're screwed. Uh, so be careful about that. I, I've said this before, there is a very wise quote. I don't know who came up with it, but it's kind of been passed around. Um, and, and it goes like this, if it flies, floats, or fucks, rent it. All right, that means don't get married. Don't buy a jet, charter one. Don't buy a yacht, charter one, okay? So, and you can do whatever the hell you want in your life. You can. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's your life. Just there's there's a reason people came up with that quote, okay? It's not just a cute little fucking quote. There's a reason for it. And if you have money, you can be the target of a lot of bad shit in this world, all right? It's like, that will directly affect your wealth in a negative way. It directly affects your life in a negative way. Also, I want to say this. Okay, so for you guys who are like, oh, I'm going to get the bitches after I get a lot of money. They're going to want me. I'm going to get laid. Guess what? Okay, first of all, the sex that you have with women that want you for money is going to be some of the best sex you've ever had. Like they are just, they're fuck demons. Like they, you will have a lot of fun. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, if a woman ever tells you, and I've had this happen to me, if a woman ever tells you to, or asks you to remove your condom, fucking A, that is a big ass red flag. And you better make sure that shit's strapped down and maybe double up or maybe just be done because that, she could be trying to baby trap you or worse and um, you don't want that to happen. And it's like, if you, if you knock somebody up, guess what, as a wealthy, dude, you are going to be on the hook big time for child support for 18 years. So think, think like I, we all like to have fun, right? But honestly, like short term pleasure is not worth long term pain. You're much better just going to Pornhub and spending a few minutes by yourself. Like you, it doesn't negatively affect your wealth. Like just do that. Just do that. It's like, but to each his own. But I'm just saying like, if that ever happens, like, you, you, that should be a huge red flag, a huge red flag. Something is going on. Something's going on that you you don't want to be a part of. Like you don't want to be a part of that. And I know it's like when things get all hot and steamy, it's like you're not thinking with your head, you know? It's like you're thinking with something else, but it's like, just be really cognizant to that shit. So anyway, just some things to think about. Um, be smart in what you do, obviously. Uh, I want you guys to obviously have fun, enjoy the money, enjoy the profits that you make from this crypto bull run. You deserve it. It's your money. Do whatever you want with it. Uh, do some good things for yourself, like get a new vehicle. You know, if you need a new vehicle, uh, pay off some debt, do all that kind of stuff that I've talked about before. And um, but just be wary. Just be wary about um, flaunting your wealth because um, it can have some negative side effects and affect you negatively in a bad way for a long period of time actually in your life and you you do not want that because money can money money will attract things and people into your life and you only want money to bring into your life the good things for you right you don't want it to bring the bad things so it but it can bring in both right so you need to be careful uh just be really cognizant to that um it's not worth it who gives a shit what other people think about you like what vehicle you drive or what house you have, it doesn't fucking matter. 
right? It's your life. Um, and don't look to other people for like validation of you as like uh, a wealthy person, as a worthy person. It, you don't need validation from anybody. It's just, it's up to you. It's all in your head. This whole life is like a head game. It's like multiple head games are going on in this world, in this lifetime that I think challenge us. One is like, obviously like escaping the financial matrix. The other, you know, another one is like just, just living your best life and, and just not giving a crap what other people think about you, right? That's a very important aspect of life. There are others too, but uh, something to think about. I'm gonna end it here. But yeah, I just wanna make this video. I haven't done one exactly like this, but I wanted to just put this out there because I know there will be some people that probably uh, spend their profits, spend their um, winnings in ways that they regret later. And somebody on Discord actually mentioned that we should probably have like a profits regrets channel, you know, where we can all post afterwards, like how we regretted using or spending our profits from this Grayscale, you know, run. So. But yeah, we'll probably have that. We'll probably have that. I hope it doesn't affect too many people. I hope the, the regrets are small. I just don't want you guys to get into hot water uh, and have some really bad things happen into your life, you know. Obviously, all this depends on how much money you make. Like, if you only have $100 in the Grayscale Trust, well, then you're, you're not, you don't have a ton of wealth to actually use to flaunt, right? But if you've got $100,000 in there, you could end up with quite a bit, you know, quite a bit. So. Um, just keep that in mind. All right, I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Sunday to you guys. Uh, like I said, if you haven't joined Discord, it's free to join. Click the link below to get there. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Until then, you guys take care.